What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. And today I'm gonna show you a very cool experiment demonstrating atmospheric pressure underwater. Let's check it out. For this experiment we're going to need matches, scissors and a bottle of water. Let's get to our experiment. First thing we're going to do is grab a few matches and then cut the heads off. Just like that. Next what we're going to do is grab an empty plastic bottle and fill it up with water. Then we're going to put the head matches inside of the bottle with water. Just like that. You see they just float in there. Then we're going to cup the bottle pretty tight and you see those matches floating in there. And then we're gonna squeeze the bottle as hard as we can. And guess what? The head matches going to sink. And if we stop squeezing it we're gonna lift back up you see one is going down let's see if I can squeeze it harder and get some more than one there's one there's two Ugh. you gotta squeeze pretty hard sometimes so let's check out how I actually do it so the head matches over there then we're gonna grab the bottle and squeeze as hard as we can as you can see, the match is gonna sink. And if I let go, they're gonna go back up. Isn't it magic? So, let's check it out. Keep squeezing and then they're gonna go all the way bottom. Look, the third one going. The more pressure you're gonna put, the more match is gonna go down. Pretty cool, huh? It's like magic, you know? All I have to do is squeeze and they're gonna sink in. I let go, squeeze again, they stop. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what do you think. If you like that video, thumbs up this video. I think this is very cool experiment about atmospheric pressure. How is it possible when I press it it goes down. When I stop pressing it, stop applying pressure, it goes up. Pretty simple. So let me know what do you think in comments below. How does it work? Well, hope you enjoyed that video and check out my second channel. Links in the description. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.